Well, while we're talking to you, Kalyani, can you also comment? Um, I'd like to see if there's uh, perhaps any uh, way, um, anything that we can enlighten people when we're now tying the line four to your authority. So you're a sacral manifesting generator. Um, so your emotional center is not defined. So you can respond to things in the moment and, and move forward when you've you know got that immediate green light. Do you find there's uh, any particular connection that you can speak to regarding your sacral authority and the line four? With the line four and the sacral authority, I, I almost feel emotionally defined in the sense that now that I, I don't, even if it's like a yes, because I want to feel safe, I need to check in. Is this bringing me safety or not? Is this connection good for my network or not? So. I think it is more that, yes, I can go, uh-huh, yeah. And, and I'm, I am the 3420, so it's like, yep, uh-huh, yep. But I will say, yep, in the moment, but still take the time to think about, am I honoring my fourth line or not? Am I serving it or am I doing a disservice to it? So again, not just divine timing, but really being in tune with yourself. Yes, the sacral is like, go, 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 because it wants to keep moving, um, and we don't like limbo as, as a fourth line, but mm -hmm. how do you balance the two out? And that's the key is you have to find a crossroads between the two of them. And that's quite the challenge. <laughs> and if you're not sure, wait, that's also a response. Yeah. It doesn't and, have and to be a yes or a no. You can wait. That's also a response. And recognizing that a response doesn't have to be a yes or a no. I can also wait. Yep. It can be a not now or I don't know. Or exactly. You need more exactly. time. And I find that that's kind of the one thing I was curious about is when you're talking about that void and the discomfort of the void, right? And the pressure of wanting to move past that as a line four or the uncertainty, right? You're in a line four. So the one thing about a line four is really having that clear next step firmly in place and that certainty before stepping off of the, you know, the previous, um, the previous, uh, uh, rung, I guess, before you move up uh, the ladder. And do you find there's pressure to respond to something, anything to move you out of that discomfort? Undefined head, defined root. So there's always pressure. <laughs> Under pressure. Now I've got that song in my head. There is always pressure. But I think what's really helped me is being present in the moment. That's what's helped me not thinking about the future and not bringing the past into what I'm doing now. Because like I always say, in this moment, I am free. So if I can just be in that moment and consistently be in that moment, the right things will come along. It's when I start putting that pressure on myself, that's when everything gets a short circuit. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Thank you for sharing. That was awesome. Thank you. Karen. Your splenic authority, so your spleen, your intuition in the moment. Mm -hmm. Are there any connections that you can speak to regarding your line four in your profile and your spleen and your intuition? Yeah, um, I mean, so similar to what Kalyani was saying, it's, you know, it's always kind of firing in the background. So being in the moment is very, very important. Splenic awareness you know, in general is about fear, about safety and security. And so having the one four profile with spleenic authority, it's a very consistent kind of value system to operate under, you know, like everything is kind of, <laughs> everything might feel like life or death, even though it is totally not life or death. And that applies to a lot of different areas of my life. Um, and then something else I've noticed too is like the way that spleen tells me that someone is not for me is very specific, but it feels like that kind of fight or flight thing. So when it comes to my line fourness, when I'm meeting people who have a clean frequency, a friendship, and uh, like a non-transactional kind of feeling to it of like, oh, we're like simpatico, you know? My spleen says yes to that very, very quietly, but I'll get like little goosebumps or I'll feel a little like kind of flutter, like a butterflies in the stomach feeling. 
And if it's not a clean frequency, and if there's something about that person that's not healthy for me, the splenic messaging is there too. It is slightly different. And it's not butterflies in the stomach of excitement, like low little flutters of like, what's happening? It'll be like heart racing. So again, it's like that, that life or death kind of, you know, fight or flight thing. And when I look back on my life and uh, like people I've dated, I frequently confused my splenic no for a sacral yes. And I have gate 29 defined on my sacral and that's it, like an undefined sacral. So it's constantly thinking like, oh, it's just excitement. I'm saying yes to this person. I'm, it's normal to be nervous. And I was misreading. And so I made some really questionable decisions about my network. And it took me a really long time to get out of those relationships. Because the line four doesn't want to leave until there's another thing lined up. So yeah, it's an interesting, it's an interesting bag. I'm sorry, my dog is like sleep running. I don't know if you can hear his paws on the floor right now, but he's going crazy. <laughs> I couldn't, but I, I I don't know if I was hearing it when you were mentioning it, but I can only picture it. really loud to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ashling, um, you talked about it as a reflector, and 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 as a reflector, reflectors have lunar authority. So, um, is there something that you can speak to with regards to your? Um, your line four in your profile and actually that lunar authority with, of course, the moon moving through the different gates. Um, you know, what, what is it a rate of about every six hours or so there's a, a different gate yeah. or is it? Yeah. I don't know how many, but it's, you know, it's constantly shifting like a couple of times a day. Um, yeah. So from, from one aspect in terms of the fourth line wanting to prepare, it's brilliant having the time, you know, like, and now that again, being conscious of it and having more conscious people around me, you know, who understand, and I've got the language um, to say, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, that sounds amazing and I'll get back to you. So from that point of view, that works really well. My pressure uh, comes from, well, I was going to say it comes from my own head and root, but also uh, it, when you're in the network, in fact, it was Tammy Mack who wrote about, as a, from a projector's point of view, about the problem of the pressure to respond when you're not a generator. So people mess, I've got so many messages at the moment because I recently just thought, you know what, I'm not going to do it because I know it's just, it's just going to be a, I don't know whether I want to respond to that person. I don't know what the answer is. Um, and I just realized quite recently that you know, I was checking every all the messages on Facebook and checking through everything before I could relax. And I'm like, what am I checking for? I'm checking in case there was pressurizing me. And then I'm causing pressure on myself to try and do that. So I'm currently experimenting with like not responding. I mean, people who know me really well know that they, they've got other ways of contacting me if they want to. And that was quite uncomfortable. So I and I do, I operate exactly the way Kadiani said. <laughs> I'm just, you know, loving myself, doing what I need. What, you know, what what do I need right here, right, right now? And I've got really into that now. So I don't feel these big, long gaps. I don't know how, you know, I mean, my last really big project finished at the end of April. And then I've just been carrying on with some clients over May. And there's a bit of underlying anxiety, like what's next? But I'm, I'm pr literally prepared to sit in the gap <laughs> like I do my meditation I'm prepared I can do this um so that's fine but yes in terms of the networking there's this fear of people are going to be upset with me because I'm not but I, I am I really do feel like I'm just kind of coming off the roof and I'm aligning to no it's more important to me not to respond when it feels out of alignment than to please someone else and you know they they know me so you know, if there's, they can contact me another way, or if there's a problem, then that's something I need to look at because I really need to be with people who can honor honor me. So, yeah, it is. It is a. There has been a conflict, but I think I'm getting through it. 